Hello, my name is Amy Herlihy. I am an upper school teacher at Worcester Academy, and I teach world history to sophomores. Our world history instruction includes exposing students to the major time periods and historical events that have shaped our modern world. But I'm always looking for opportunities to delve deeper into a region or topic or to share someone's story because I find that the personal experiences have more of a lasting impact on the students. Last fall, Akam Singh shared with me the synopsis of the Baywatna documentary. After I watched the trailer, I knew I had to share this important story with my students so the students could learn about the plight of the Sikh and Hindu communities in Afghanistan. The students were already familiar with the late 20th and early 21st century history, had a basic understanding of the Sikh and Hindu religions, and a general knowledge of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021, providing them with some context for the documentary. By watching the documentary, the students gained a greater understanding of the struggles the Sikh and Hindu community faced in Afghanistan. The stories broke our hearts, increased our empathy, and made us want to help the Sikh community find a home in the United States. I did not realize the immigration barriers that currently exist for Afghan Sikh refugees and feel strongly that the U.S. has a responsibility to provide a safe haven for Sikh refugees. The students wrote reflections on the documentary, which reveal how this documentary helped bridge a cultural gap between our students and a civilization that lives halfway around the world. Here is one of the students' reflections. I often hear statistics like death and injury tolls about religious persecution, but the narratives were personal. People were faces and the stories and not just numbers. It helped me grasp the horrors of religious persecution. The man slowly recounting his experience made me much more empathetic. When he spoke about worrying for his family and not knowing what was happening to them, I also became worried, and the end of the story made the point stick even harder. To continue his quote, people often only hear death tolls and injury tolls when learning of religious persecution. The personal stories feel like a conversation and foster a connection between the viewer and the storyteller. The stories send a message that these events aren't simply a small segment on the news, but impact people greatly. It helps frame the situation in people's minds. End of his quote. Hearing the firsthand accounts of the Afghan Sikh community is critical to bringing awareness to the next generation of leaders who can make a difference in our world. The stories gave my students a better understanding of the Sikh community, fostered empathy for their suffering, respect for their perseverance, and hope for their future. Bewatna truly left an indelible impact on my students and me, and I look forward to learning more about the Sikh experiences as they settle into the United States and Canada in future documentaries from Nishcom TV. Thank you.